And the most important question of our time is how we discern. How can we discern? Especially those who are so good look-alike. <laughs> those who are so almost right but not right. And you ask, but where does discernment start? Listen carefully. Discernment begins by believing that the Word of God is God's self-revelation. Discernment begins by believing that we are in a state of warfare with lying spirits. And Paul tells us in Ephesians that our war is not with flesh and blood, it's not with human beings, but our war is with principalities and powers. So what does that mean? Listen carefully. Here's what it means. That we must understand that Satan does not oppose God directly. That Satan does not come out and say, I'm against God and I'm against his people. He's not that much of a fool. Satan seldom openly fights believers in believing churches. He joined those churches. And then he takes it from the inside. Listen, we've seen with our own eyes, even in our short lifetime, how his servants take over Christian schools and seminaries and whole Christian institutions and whole denominations from within, not from outside. He does not stand outside these Christian institutions with horns and a pitchfork and a megaphone and say, I am fighting you people. No, no. His servants become ordained in the churches. His servants become headmasters of Christian schools. His servants become leaders in churches. His servants speak smooth and soothing words from pulpits. 